Good morning and welcome to our meditation service. My name is Lynn Frankenberger. And as we begin, um, I'd like to take a moment right now to silence any cell phones, if you have them on. Thank you so much. Folks may be entering um, later on in the service, so if that uh, might interrupt you or something, I invite you to move forward a little bit because people will be coming in and sitting at the back. So you can move forward. And let's begin, shall we? As we work for a world that works for everyone, this meditation is based on how you can show up in this world. Where are your joys? Where is your peace? What is justice? What does that mean to you? And I'd like to read a passage uh, from Carl Jung. And this says, it does not, one does not become enlightened by imagining figures of light, but by making the darkness conscious. So as we move through this meditation, if there is a place in your consciousness where there may be darkness, remember there is always that light within to shine upon that darkness, to shift that consciousness, and to move you into a place of greater joy, of greater peace, of greater happiness within your life. So I invite you at this time to just close your eyes. Relax into your chairs. And let's begin to go ahead and center ourselves in this moment. So as we do so, just take in a deep breath and release that. Release any thoughts of hurriedness, any stress, any concerns, anything that is not going to serve you for your clearest and highest good right in this moment. Just start to relax. Relax your shoulders, relax your body. Allow the chair to support you. Feel the soles of your feet firmly on the ground below you as you connect. Connect to that universal energy that is flowing around this planet up and through every fiber and being of your body. Just feel this peace. If your mind wanders, just think of the word peace. It'll come back to you. Just allow yourself to relax into this moment. And with happenings around the world today, some of us may be feeling some type of indifference, some type of how can I make a difference? Where is the justice? Where is the compassion? So know that loss transforms perspective. This pain of loss or of unknowing can be staggering. It can be struck down by grief or a longing. It is difficult at times to cope. And it may be difficult at times to see the sweetness in life. So in times like this, It is up to us to go within and take care of ourselves. We must be gentle with ourselves. We must focus our attention on the present moment, on what is happening right now. We scan our bodies, we scan our minds. And let us focus on 
those delights, those peaceful moments, that harmony, and distance ourself from the emotional. In seasons such as this, and times that have come in the past for us. If we take that time to connect with that oneness and care for ourselves, once again, we may delight in the joys in our life. Think to yourself and listen to these words and take them within for a moment. I treat myself gently with compassion. I find delight in the small treasures of each day. I treat myself gently with compassion. I find delight in the small treasures of each day. If anything is arising within you now that is unlike peace or joy, go within and ask yourself, how might I treat myself gently? Where is my compassion for myself? And how does that compassion outpicture? from the very core of my being. Where is my peace? Where is my compassion?
you might ask yourself, what is my purpose today or tomorrow? Has it changed? Have you found your purpose? Have you connected with that greater idea of the expression of who you are? That one life? So I invite you to ask yourself, what truly matters to me deep within my heart? In that heart space, where that peace and compassion and love truly exist. What truly matters to me deep within my heart and my soul? What actions might you take to support this purpose? Do you support it through spiritual practice, sacred service? Seeing the face of God in everyone you encounter? Being gentle with yourself. What actions might you take to enrich the purpose that you have on this planet?
through this gentle peace and harmony within you. Truly, how? How do you behave around others? And the world around you, is it in alignment with your purpose? I invite you to truly ask that question. Because the only way to live in light is to recognize the darkness and shine it upon it. Do I come from judgment? Do I seek justice? That is separation. Or do I find that compassion? Truly, how do I behave around others? I invite you to look deeply. If there is a void, there is separation. Shine your light upon that void. The answers are already there. In this world where we may see disenfranchisement, where we may see injustice, where we may see things that are unlike oneness, what do you stand for? What actions can you take to support how you stand up as a divine expression of that one life. Once again, is it through prayer, meditation, service? Going within. 
and finding the compassion that is in the oneness. Ask yourself today, what actions can I take to see a world where there is peace, where there is harmony, where there is joy, where there's enfranchisement, where there is a world that truly works for all. What actions may I take to stand up for this truth? So as you sit with that idea, I'd like to play a song and just allow yourself to take these words in to support the actions and activity, the oneness that you express as you stand, as you find your purpose, as you come together as one. And walk every day If we 
So I just invite you to take a deep breath, release that out, because we all are one, one family, one planet. So this ends our meditation service, and I thank you so much for being here today. Our celebration service begins at 10. So feel free to stretch your legs and come back or just stay in here in this energy, whichever you choose. If you appreciate the benefits of this service, our ushers will be in the back. And consider making a donation, a donation towards building a world that works for all. Thank you, and have a fabulous day.